So what have we learned so far? R&D automation is, is a relatively small business and, and the importance of generating and maintaining relationships is pivotal in an industry such as this. I'm here with Doug Robertson. Doug, so Doug, tell us a little bit about what makes R&D unique uh, from your perspective. Well, I like to think that what makes R&D unique is our relationships to our customers. Um, just not on a level of management, but we also go down to you know, the engineering department into the workers on the floor and being able to relate with them, you know, kind of on their level. Just, just like Sean, you're, you're, you're owner, you're designer, you're installer, you guys basically roll up your sleeves and do it all here, don't you? Absolutely, um, and that's kind of like my background is, um, I started from the ground up working in precision sheet metal, mm -hmm. um, spot welding, TIG welding, grinding, you know, right off the floor. I uh, had some great opportunities opened up for me, was able to move into an assembly environment, building machinery, um, then another opportunity opened up and then got into engineering. So I know there's a boundary where you can and can't go. Yeah. And I do whatever I can to help out manufacturing, which in turn helps out R&D. Yeah. So um, what, are, what are some of the things that you guys are looking to do moving forward? You know, looking at it from an owner perspective, we were talking a little bit about, you know, eventually evolving into you know, a combination of custom automation equipment and standard equipment. We're standing next to um, something that you guys are, are getting ready to go to market on for a standard equipment point of view, right? Right. This has been something R&D's been looking at for a while now. This particular product behind me is uh, a cat feeder, an enclosure feeder, where companies, I mean, anything from pharmaceutical to beverage would utilize this in taking closures, like caps, mm -hmm. from bulk and then orientating them. I immediately start thinking beer bottle caps. Beer bottle caps. I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> so so um, what, uh, what's, what's really the purpose from a business point of view behind going from you know, largely a fully custom to, uh, to maybe uh, you know, going to market with something a, a little bit more standard? Well, I think um, it helps bring some stability, I guess, in the company where if you have a, a standard product line, a lot of times if you know X number of units might be going out for the month. You know, it kind of establishes a baseline, it gets some money coming in the door, where it kind of frees us up to go out and keep hunting those custom projects that we love. I know you're looking into, you know, putting some iLogic functionality into some of these designs so you can, you know, make quick and easy configurations. Do you, do you see that as a difference maker, something that's really going to take those little margins and make them a little bit bigger so a standard line can be a little bit more profitable? Yeah, and, and how I think we're going to be doing that is one, R&D has to stand out. You know, it's, it's, it's like if you get into the business of, for example, selling conveyors. There's hundreds of companies out there selling conveyors. So, you know, R&D would have to sit down and say, what's going to make us stand out? What's going to make R&D better? Um, one would be a better design, you know, faster, faster to production, quicker turnarounds. Um, I like to think, you know, as far as manuals, being able to, when the customer gets their product, having a spare parts list that they open it up and there's not only you know just a list of parts, but the actual physical uh, part files that they can look at, images of the parts that makes, you know, when you, you look at the service department, opens this thing up, they know exactly what they want to get. Yeah. Uh, and I think by using Inventor, we're going to be able to take that next step and shine you guys have already, you know, certainly set a, a really high standard when it comes to your utilization of the tools that you're using uh, here at R&D, and, and I think you guys have a tremendous future with your standard product line. Best of luck, and thanks so much. Thank you very much. Next, I meet up with Darren to see how he's able to start creating his controls programs before the engineering drawings are even complete. This is fantastic. Yeah, I was impressed too, so stay tuned.